homemade naan bread, tikka masala, rice, and broccoli, served on a paper plate because I'm bougie like that. Hey guys, so a lot of you guys have been asking me if I would make videos on the recipes that I've been making and posting on my Instagram stories and on my Snapchat. So tonight I'm making an Indian dinner, which basically is going to be tikka masala, naan bread, rice, and broccoli. Never had Indian food, don't worry, because I just tried it for the first time last year and I was really, really scared to try it because I thought it was going to be super gross, but it's actually really, really, really good. Indian food has a lot of flavor and it's very rich and it's so... Good. And it's not something that just adults like. My kids like it too, and it's not too spicy. I make sure I make it nice and mild so that my kids will eat it and not freak out. So if you haven't tried Indian food, I highly recommend it. You don't have to go to a restaurant to do it because I'm telling you, this recipe that I have tastes just like the restaurant, but even better. So first, I'm going to show you guys all the ingredients needed for this recipe. First, the ingredients for the naan bread. I prefer mine homemade, but you can skip and buy the store bought if you'd like. Next, the tikka masala ingredients. I just use this jasmine rice, but you can use any kind of rice that you'd like. And any steam bag of broccoli, which of course you could make fresh as well. First, we're making the dough for the naan bread. We're mixing the yeast, sugar, and water together, then stirring well. Set it aside until it's frothy, about three minutes. Now we're going to add olive oil, egg, and yogurt, and mix well. Next, we add the wet ingredients to a bowl with one cup of flour and half a teaspoon of salt already mixed. We're going to mix well. Then add another cup of flour. Mix until you can no longer stir the dough. Next, we're going to lightly flour a surface. Now we're going to knead the dough for about three minutes. Add flour as needed. You want the dough to be smooth and not sticky. Form it to a ball, then loosely cover and set aside. Now we're going to get started on the tikka masala by mincing our garlic and chopping our onion. Cut your chicken breast into bite-sized pieces. Add two tablespoons of ghee to a skillet and turn it on to a medium heat. Let the ghee melt, then add your onion and cook it until it is translucent. Add the garlic and cook for one minute. Now we're going to add the spices to the garlic and the onion. Fry for about two minutes. Now we're going to add the can of tomato sauce. Bring to a boil and then reduce the heat to low and allow to simmer for about 10 minutes. Mix in the heavy whipping cream and the remaining spices. Mm -hmm. 
Mix together well. Then let the sauce simmer for the next 15 minutes, stirring often. Heat the vegetable oil on medium heat. Then add the chicken. And a teaspoon of curry powder. Cook until the outside of the chicken is no longer pink. Next, we're going to add the water for the rice and get it boiling. Continue cooking the chicken. Add more curry powder if desired. Once all of the chicken looks cooked on the outside, it's time to add the chicken to the sauce. The chicken will cook the rest of the way through because we're gonna let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Now it's time to finish our naan bread. We're going to lightly flour the surface, then take the naan dough and roll it into a large flat disc. Then we're going to cut it into eight even slices. Roll each slice into a ball and then let them sit. Add your rice to the boiling water, then cover and let it simmer. Heat a skillet over medium heat, then roll out an individual ball of dough until it is flat. Place the dough in the skillet until it starts to brown on the bottom. Then flip. When your naan bread is done, this is what it should look like. Repeat with the remaining balls of dough. And there you have it guys, a finished Indian dinner, complete with homemade naan bread, tikka masala, rice, and broccoli, served on a paper plate because I'm bougie like that. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Thank you for watching.